my notes. Um, so let's talk about discussion boards. Are you guys ready for this? Have you guys played with the discussion boards at all? Yes, the discussion boards. They are in uh, beta in the Alchemist Lab. If you have the Alchemist Lab option set up on World Anvil, they are ready to play with. So let me pop over and give you guys a peek. So it's it's. I just have it really basic, bare bones, so that I can show you guys how to how to set them up and what they'll look like and then I'm gonna be tweaking mine because I always have to tweak it for Rise. I want it want the look to to fit with my Liminal Chron Chronicles theme. So let's go play with it though. I need to figure out how to make this show up so I can see chat and everything at the same time and my notes. There we go. That helps. Okay, so where can we access them? Oh, welcome! Welcome! We are just about to get into discussion boards. So welcome, raiders. I am so glad to see you guys. I did not expect a raid today until Second Head popped in. He's like, you ready for a raid? I was like, sure. <laughs> so, so welcome. It's wonderful to see you all. And if you haven't checked out discussion boards, we will be doing that in just a moment. I'll wait for the, the chat to kind of slow down for a second. Yeah, I, Linda, Linda, I've seen your comments in there. Um, also, Stormbill, so you guys have been chatting back and forth on it. So I have do have a nice heads up. Thanks to you guys. I've been watching the discussion boards over there. So, And thank you very much secondhand for the subscription. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you, everybody, for contrib contributing towards the long crafting stream. As I was saying before the raid, um, for the long crafting stream, I will be doing a series of streams because I don't think I can do justice to how long I've made everybody help contribute for this. <laughs> um, it, I can't do justice to it, justice to it in one stream. So I'm going to do a series of them and we'll start out with a coloring page day. So I have art donated by my daughter who did a really adorable um, picture of the ferrets from our new world, carbines and cryptids. And then um, some art donated by Moonflower. I don't have a printout of it here as I would show you. It's a lovely dragon head done by Moonflower. So I am very excited about that so thank you guys for for helping to make that happen i'm i'm excited we were at 96 percent last time i looked so let's get into discussion boards how do we get to them if you go oops i had the wrong copy paste there you guys want the actual thing <laughs> some random stuff that i had in my in my paste not Q, but what do you call it? The thing. So anyway, if you go to uh, worldample.com slash world slash board is where you can access them. And then if you have created any, they'll be at the top here. <laughs> Slipboard. <laughs> Clipboard. Yes, clipboard. Thank you. I do. I think slipboard is way better, though. We are going to use that. That's a, that's a term now. Uh, but anyway, so if you have created any boards, they'll be at the top here. To create a, a new board, which I should see which ones I've already created so I don't recreate any. Do I have? Okay, so I have one called Guardian News. There was a couple of them that I wanted to create. So I have a Guardian News thread. Uh, can put one for the beta readers call. So um, in the main discussion board thing, every all of the boards will be created on the main board page, no matter where they are in regards to each other. So if you have like a, if I have Liminal Chronicles news and I want to put a beta readers thread under the news board, I have to create it over here on the main page at this point in time. So if you, if I put in beta readers call and then I put it, tell it where I want it to put it, and I have uh, news 
already created. I just click there, can give it a description. So you can create a, either a public or a private board. My boards are going to be uh, public. Um, for viewing and then for like my announcements I'll go back and set it up so that we can for like the announcements only I can post to them uh, this is the type is either a category so it can be like a, a section where you put the threads in or you can create a thread so this one I wanted it to be a thread and then we just create it and then it will show up under here it doesn't show directly here but since I created it under I think Luminal Chronicles news if we click on that there it is so it's it's nice and easy um, let's refresh this oh and to get to your boards I should I should show you guys how to do that there's a a board page so if you want to get to let's see um, you can click on the actual board or you can, which, sorry, I was clicking too much. This is the board that I was, I just clicked on, but you can go up and hit discussion boards to see everything at once. Uh, so I've got a, a Liminal Chronicles discussion that I haven't filled out yet, and then I've got, um, I'll put a beta readers call and guardian news here in just a minute. So that's that's kind of how to set them up. You just um, set it up in your discussion board. It's if you're going from your world instead of the link I gave you, it's under world community and discussion boards. So anyway, anything new that we want to create, we'll set up here. I think there was a... Oh, yeah. I'll create a requests thread under discussion so that other people can join in, make another thread. And then if we refresh the board page, I have one called requests. And if you go to the, the request was a thread page, so we can just click on that and we can create a thread. So it's kind of like World Anvil Reddit. Yeah, it's kind of, it, it's, it's old, it's closer to old school forums, but closer to Reddit than it is like Discord. So, but it allows for discussion at a world instead of having to go over to Discord or something, but it's it's nice to be able to have both so that people that don't have a Reddit or a Discord account or, or whatever, that, that you have options to be able to communicate with them. You'll be able to post as, oh, Langna says, you'll be able to post as characters eventually, so it's good for stories and play-by-post and form roleplay. Sweet! Thank you so much for the follow, Dead Nidal. <laughs> Dude Nidal? Dead... Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name very well, but thank you. ECC Book says, I dig this a lot. I like having everything in one place. I do have a Discord, but nev have never really used it. I use my Discord, but not as much as I would like. So, I'm, I'm ex anxious to... to find out more about how it all is going to work with community and how my current community to see what they'll be doing with it. So a few more follows. Thank you. Uh, Langna says, poor Demi has been hearing my ideas and frothings for, on this for a year now. <laughs> you know, it looks like he's doing really well implementing stuff, so I'm I'm excited. I I know there's a couple bugs yet because it's it's still not officially released. It's it's 
uh, in the Alchemist Labs. But Okay, so let's create a thread here. I just clicked on create a thread. We'll enter a title. So... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm anxious to see how I haven't. This is my first official creation of a thread, so y'all get to see this live. So, yeah, doing both, I, doing both can't hurt, and then you can see what your community reacts to more, and which is better for your community. So, alrighty. Okay, my husband, it's going to, I'm going to silence my phone. My husband and my son are chatting back and forth. I'll have to wait because I am streaming now. They'll just have to wait. Okay, so if you don't know what a car is, the examples. Let's see if that worked. I haven't seen if anybody put it in there. Oh, the URL didn't work. I wonder if I did it wrong. And we can't edit yet. Okay, and it will come, but I can fix that later. So anyway, we have a thread set up and then people can reply and add suggestions for me, which will be fabulous. Would be fun to see, I wonder if we should request um, I'm going to put in a request for the number of topics and then maybe when we hit um, like request it would be, might be nice to see the number by the thing so you don't so if you're scrolling you know it's a really long topic. So I'm going to add in I probably wouldn't have to create a I could make them more general. I had them um, pretty specific here for like the beta readers call. I could have just made that a thread inside. But I had created I needed a some sort of I'm going to go back here. So inside our discussion boards, um, I probably could have rearranged it to put, like, make beta readers call a thread itself. Under Guardian News. I might rearrange things because it takes me a while to play with things before I figure out how I want to re want to arrange things. And I may just have it Liminal Chronicles and then put a whole bunch of thread boards under here. But anyway, I'll put 
information with the thread. find my shortened link because <laughs> I don't like seeing all the really long ones. So I basically have most of what I wanted to set up today ready to go. So I'm gonna grab a really quick drink and then I wanna start playing with this and make it look a little bit easier to read to me because um, it's kind of crammed together and I would like to, to tweak it. I always wanna tweak stuff, so. There was a couple other things I wanted to do first. I forgot about that. Um, I did want to tweak the permissions. So let's go look at the permissions on like Liminal Chronicles News. Uh, permissions to view. Okay, so I do have author only on the permissions to write. So that's okay. So I, cause I have a, a group that's just me for my uh, permissions under uh, world settings access um, I have what's called their subscriber groups and I have one that's just me so that uh, allows obviously just me to, to, to view it or to change it or, or whatever for the discussion boards it's it's that way. Let's double check the permissions here. I'm gonna double check and just say author only. It doesn't look like, I think it's an auto save because I don't see a save here. Permissions to moderate. I think we're good there. I wonder if it does apply, if, we, if I needed to do it on both these since the main one was author only, but I, we're, we're good. I can just, I can look at that later. So I set up the permissions. Uh, yeah, we play, we set up some threads. Oh, and. I did want to set one more up. set up the wrong kind of board. Boo! 
I set it up as a category board, so I'll delete it. Okay, so... to ask people who are their favorite um, characters in Liminal Chronicles. So if there's one that's not like one of the like three or four main characters, then I can make sure to include them in, in future books. So CSS for this just because I I want to make it look more like the Liminal Chronicles setup than <laughs> than a whole bunch of text walls so so what does this do oh it opens the just the board page okay so I have two discussion boards okay I may eventually merge these so I can have like a, a news sub board, but I can do that later. Let's play, I like playing with how things look, so let's go do that. So I'm gonna open up this. Oh, and I need to make it so you guys can see the whole monitor here. I'm gonna keep the chat open. Oops, nope. You need to scroll over just a little bit so I can see chat. You guys will see the chat too and whatever else is on my screen, but that's okay. So I want to play with some new things. So I have stylus open. This is where I start to play with my CSS. just so you know and I thought it, thought it was kind of interesting if you go and look in the settings there you can set up CSS per board too um, I'm gonna set up my general stuff and then see if I want to separate them out because I, I might merge my boards so I'm not gonna set up separate CSS right now Have you guys played with the discussion boards yet? And if you've played with them, what are, your, what are your favorite things about them? And have you played with the CSS for them? And thank you for putting up with me while I kind of tweak things and, and set up things, because this is, this is fairly new to me. I saw when Demi was first doing it, and then I hadn't done a whole lot until um, he said they were pretty much functional today. Lingna says I have a bit of CSS poked, but not a lot. Okay. Yeah, and I have nothing yet, so I'm anxious to play with it. So let's kind of look at... We have the board. Oops, oops, no, okay. Okay, we have a discussion board wrapper. We have a block wrapper. It's a full width column. 
Do I want a different background? I might leave the background as it is, but maybe some of these smaller ones. Make those solid, just so that they look like a header. Then we have the, the breadcrumbs. header for the board, the info about the board, and the board, the little sub boards. I wish we could see like the information about these guys, the contents inside, instead of having to click on them. That's, that's going to be another request I have. Uh, thread boards. Okay, just wanted to make sure that you guys can see. I'm glad you can. Alrighty, so let's start tweaking this. So I want some more spacing. That's going to be a big deal to me. I want to outline the boards so that it looks more like the old school forums. I think those are the first two things I want to do. So does the whole thing and then this does inside it. You thought that they had the description show up? Um, oh, the description here shows up, but like the, the threads inside of it don't. But the description does, so so if I said that incorrectly, I apologize. Okay, so <laughs> it's easy to confuse me too, Langa. You are not alone in that. increase the spacing all around it so I'm going to give it more margin uh, let's see that helps okay so if you remember how if I'm going to do a series of, of the you know the top right bottom and left so that's that's how they go in order if you see them so uh, so I want 20 at the top. I don't need any extra on the sides. So that's top, right? I want at least 30, I think. Yeah, we probably need some more, more than that. 40. 50. There we go. It spaces them out just a little bit. And then... I don't need any on the other side. I think I can just leave it as zero. I don't need the pix pixel units there. So that spaces it out for me. I think I'm actually going to increase that to like 70. So when I space out the individual ones here, it will not be as crowded. So let's space out the next one. So user CSS. What are these called? Discussion for a child. Discussion for a child. Discussion, discussion board contents. Actually, let's put some space below the card body, discussion board body, because that is very crowded there. So I'm not putting any space between these two classes because they're called in the same HTML div. 
so uh, we don't need to put a space between those. doing it it's just not doing I want I should pick, pick the other thing a header okay there we go. get the right class sorry about that folks still not giving us the margin I wanted. Why? Discussion or description. doing before. Ah, ha, ha, there we go. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't doing it before with just that one. Am I missing the dashes between discussion board and description? Uh, maybe I was. <laughs> I don't know. We have it now because what I wanted was for the, the general spacing here. So if I can do it overall or just this, it doesn't really matter to me. So... easier to read. And Demi had this as small. I think I need to make it smaller, but I can deal with that later. I want some more spacing between here too. Okay, so these are the discussion for child contents. And then I think the next one over is, um, yeah, the individual board. And I want this to be the general discussion boards, not the individual boards. So. I see them now when I zoom in. Okay. Yeah, sorry, it's kind of hard to see because I've got a big screen <laughs> that the text gets really small. You guys want me to, I can, here we go. That might help if I make the text bigger. Padding, uh, okay, so I don't know if we need to add anything to the top, but if if the thing is blank, hmm, see it has more space here, but it doesn't here. So maybe I should just fill those in. Yeah, but if you can't see, other people can't see, so it was easy enough to make the, the text a little bit bigger. I'm going to fill those in, because they just do look better with a little bit of information about them. So I'm going to go back and fill those words in and tell, tell people what they are. Okay, liminal chronicles. Oh, it's not. It was discussion. So, chit-chat. Uh. 
I don't want to sound vain. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? See if that looks better. I think I need to shorten that one so it doesn't go over to the next line. That just kind of bugs me. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think I want to merge these two boards and have it just all under one. Because I don't really have a good reason to have two boards. And this can be, you know, these can be my news ones. So. Okay, so we have it better spaced out. I think I do want a little bit more spacing under these just to so it's easier to read it. It doesn't look like a big block of text. So if you guys don't know the, the difference between margin and padding, um, let's see if I can pull up the layout, computer, here we go. So you have your, your item, and then padding is what's given to it around it inside of your container and then you have a border, and then margin is what's outside of it between other elements. So, and I think I won't need to... Increase that one stripe. Yeah, it's just not showing up, so I think I need to do the... the one above it, instead of the description. Yeah, it's not doing anything there. So we'll do the discussion board child instead and see if that gives us some more space. Yes. Okay. I do think I want to box these in so they look more like forums. So let's see. me give it some padding at the top too just so when I box it in it's not actually maybe we should do some margin at the top margin top. let's give it a border 
Uh, we'll just try for one pixel for now. Solid instead of a dotted or dashed line. And we'll just go with black for now. the margin so zero so that they mesh up together uh, at the let's see so at the margin I wanted zero and then padding we want to play with it so let's see at the top Actually, 30 is not bad. I might want to bring it in on the sides though, so 30 and maybe 20. 30 pixels and 20 pixels. There we go. And I want to change the color. What colors do I have set up here? I can never remember. So I have a variable called charcoal. It's still a little bit dark. I just want like a hint. Oh, that doesn't show up, it's too light. Create a new color for this, we will see. That's close. Too bright. to round the corners because so, most everything else on the Little Chronicles has rounded corners so you do that with border radius I can type give it a shadow. I can twink tinker with that later. I don't know if I like the spacing here, so I'm gonna 
tweak that too. My goal today is to just kind of get it readable <laughs> so it doesn't give me a headache to look at. Um, and it's not all put together really, really close. So. I don't want to mess up anything else. I'm going to make sure this is under discussion board contents. So we can give that a margin left of 20 pixels. Nope. I didn't do it. Oh, <laughs> left and right. Amy, left and right. All right, there we go. And I want to wrap this better. I did that somewhere else in here. That just kind of bugs me. I can. Overall, I think I like the spacing. I might want to make the breadcrumbs smaller. I think I did that on the rest of my world. Let me look and see what I did with... Like if we go to Amaji's page, I think I made that pretty small. Yeah, I did. So... Let's do the same thing for the breadcrumbs here. and small. Oh, we have a visitor! Yeah, just a second. I'm gonna pop this over so you guys can see the we go better. Uh, full webcam. There we go. Alright. Pocky! Evidently he just woke up from a nap. Oh, man, you are you are totally flappy. <laughs> anyway, go say hi to everybody. Were you sleeping good? Yeah, my husband brought him up. He said he needed a little love and attention. And it is Ferret Friday, so say hi. Yeah. Oh, man, you're, you're not usually this cuddly. Oh, now we're starting to wake up. Yeah. Want to check out my water? Yeah. Yeah, well, you don't need to slurp on it. I don't need Ferret's bit. But it's lovely to see you. Yeah. Thank you for bringing him up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Oops. There we go. And I gotta pull up my... There we go. So you guys can see. Anyway, there we are. We had Ferret Friday just before the end of the stream. So I pretty much have the general look. I might tweak colors. I'm definitely gonna play with how this wraps. I don't like it, and I don't remember how I did the other things. I think I did that with the uh, phrase and key values. I tucked anything that wrapped over in there. But I'm, I'm liking the look so far. It makes it a little bit cleaner and easier to read. So I might change the color too on the... because it's just not my color. I think I can probably play with that before um, before we go. So I will scroll all the way down, give it a color. Teal, teal maybe. Mm, might be better to keep it more of a red. I 
here we go. So I think I'm liking that. I'm really excited to see what my reader base will be doing with this. Um, but, and I, eventually I'll put a, a link to it on the front page, which we didn't get to. I'm sorry, I don't think I have, I don't know if I have time to do that yet or not. But um, what I'm gonna do is we can go and create a variable to play with that. So we have two minutes, let's see if we can do that. Tools, very, oh, not tables, variables. We need variables. So I have a whole bunch of different variables I use everywhere. Just in case, I'll put it in there. So a rendered fragment is going to use, like, is going to show BB code as we'd see it, like, in an article. So this is just a temporary setup, and then we can copy it. And I, let's see where we want to put it on the front page. here yeah so under ready for more anyway you don't need to see me do that you guys know how to how to set that stuff up but anyway there'll be a link on my front page here in just a little bit did you guys have any quick questions before we go and raid I'm gonna pop it over to webcam again I hope, I hope this was helpful for you guys to see one set up and to see one tinkered with for the CSS so you guys can make your own boards look the way you want for your own worlds. So while I go see who is on, I will get a chance to, to see if you guys had any more questions. We have a couple Anvilites. We got Eli and Story Girl and Hefe all live. Who? So who who should we raid today? Uh, should we raid Eli, Story Girl, or Hefe? Uh, London had a question. Are you going to put up what you what you've done at, for an example? Um. How so? I was going to put a link to my discussion boards from my Liminal Chronicles world. Was there um, something more than that you wanted to see? Um, I can post a, a link, like maybe on my, uh, a link to this video, maybe on my uh, Hacks and Help world, if people would find that. Yeah, okay. Yes, then we can we can post a link to the video on hacks and help and then people can kind of see what I did as I went through. Not that it was perfect, but nothing ever I ever do is quite perfect as I as I learn and go. So, but hopefully that would help people figure out how to how to tweak things. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll post a link to that. Thank you. I'll write that down. Post link to and 
we never know what people will find helpful, but if they can see the classes, then they can go tweak them and, and see somebody kind of going through it. So thank you very much for the idea, Linda. I'll, I'll definitely do that. So I think that is it for our stream then. Thank you everybody for joining me and for the questions, for the points for the long crafting stream, for the raid today, for the subs everything. Thank you guys for joining me and it was lovely to see you guys again. I haven't been able to stream in like a week and a half and this is, it's lovely to be back. <laughs> so I will see you guys on Monday and I think we're going to go raid Eli today because I haven't got to raid Eli in a while. So um, we'll see you over in Eli's channel. We'll set up the raid here. Raid Eli Quake. And if you guys don't remember my rage out, because it's been a while, it is Be The Difference. And it's right there in the chat for you guys. You can copy pasta. So that is what I have for you. Thank you again. I will see you guys Monday and over in Eli's channel. See you over there. <laughs>